time outside moving stuff around the shed and I, I said, you know, I'm gonna put these plants out. I'm gonna put some flowers in them, get some things going. I got my sweet tay. I'm listening to country music on my headphones. What was I thinking? You may catch me dancing a bit. Let's go plant. My dirt, my sifter, my pots. Let's get at it. tools hey y'all so i sped that up a little well and speed it up i just went ahead so i got one two three four five and two window boxes i have a little bit in those in the first pot but not enough so i'm going to take that metal trash can back to the conrad property or the other property where tiny houses fill it up from my compost garden that i had last year that had pigs and chickens and all kinds of stuff on it and it is probably full of seeds that are probably going to sprout for my uh, renter but I'm going to go and I'm going to get some dirt and fill it into that and then I can come back and I can use that without buying dirt. And we may continue to bring loads over here it kind of depends we don't want to create an issue for her uh, the mulch is, is definitely something we need yet so now we're going to plant some seeds let's see what we got but first I have to have a drink of my sweet tea I need some sweet tea Whew. You know, for a day that was supposed to be uh, full of rain, it sure is an awful lot of sun. Mm. That's the spot, right? Okay. So, I'll take these things off my head.
I can use gloves. But, I, you know, sometimes gloves get in the way. Now, I forgot to tag these. So, I'm thinking that these are calendula. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the calendula and see how far I get. I'm just going to kind of break up the seed pods. Because I just put the whole seed pod in here. And it really doesn't matter. I mean, in, na in nature, they blow around. You know, so. I think there'll be quite a few in there, huh? I think. Get to it. I bought some boxed Dollar General seeds as well. But I'm going to save my butterfly seeds. Butterfly mix. Flower mix, it says. Um, because the local nursery is going to have um, some milkweed plants near the middle of the end of May. So I will be going down and getting me those to make this homestead, this growing monarch homestead, actually growing monarchs, as well as the food and the, all the other good stuff. Rock away! a few marigolds that I cultivated. Marigold seeds were everywhere in my squash planting area the first year we were here. And then I did them again, so um, yeah, I got quite a bit of those. I get baggy open with the glove on. Ugh. Sometimes you just, most of the time I don't even put them on. Most of them I for totally forget. Gloves. I just, I just go with the bare hands. I'm sure Jess uh, from uh, Roots Refuge would give me a golf clap for that. Not that I think she golfs, but you know, she knows where it is. I'm sure. You really got to twist on these to get the seeds out. I do hold back quite a few of them because I really believe that they do help to control bug and pests in your tomatoes and your peppers. Those worms, yeah, they don't repel the moths that lay the eggs. But once the caterpillars hatch, they don't like it. So they, they adios when those come out. They don't like them for some reason. Um, I have also heard that, that there is a, that the moths don't necessarily like them, but I, I didn't experience that. Um, I still saw the moths around, uh, but when the cat, when the, you know, I never saw a lot of caterpillars when I had miracles around those plants. So that's what I do. It looks like two calendula and three marigolds are going in here in the front. I do have mammoth sunflower seeds to plant. Out back. I'm going to put those, um, some of them out uh, in the bed that's all the way out, up on the hill. And I'm going to do a few of them to border my kitchen garden because they're just, you know, they just, they make me happy. These big old mammoth sunflowers that make me happy. And I've also found that the wood boring bees, they like them. They dig them. And anything to keep them away from my um, wood structures, keep them from boring them. So they were really doing a number on my, um, Oh, my chicken pit. Uh, the hole that we're in. All right, so those are done. Now, 
Let's tackle these window boxes. I'm gonna sit you in the bird bath, but you'll stay dry. Right? Yeah, I'll wash my hands in the bird bath. I think the tripod's gonna get a bath today. Yeah, that's right. Just like that. That's how we do it. Just like we spit on our tissues and wipe off our pig faces. We wipe our hands on our rear. That's the way you do it. Ain't no shame in it. No sorry. <laughs> oh, look, I'm seating as we as we stand here. I guess I better hold this up. I think they pack these in the seat. Say we go get the muck boots on and we go out back and plant ourselves some pumpkin seeds and uh let's go over to the uh to the shed real quick see what i've been up to in there Ooh, break them mm -hmm. yum all right <coughs> pardon me so like i talked about guess what i moved Plucker, a couple of barrels. That's a feed barrel. This is a feed barrel, really, but it's got hay in it right now. I'm going to take that bunch up to the um, tractor so I can put the lid on that and keep it dry. And uh, well, don't look at the trash. <laughs> the remnants. Still hasn't returned. They're working on it. Fingers crossed it works because this one over here, I still can't get it started. I have a... feeling that it's the battery even though the battery charger that he has says it's charged I have a feeling it's the battery just because of the way things went down just the way it you know we ran it it started it ran it cut and then we let it sit and then we turned it back on and after being charged it didn't recharge I think there's something wrong with the cells in that battery but he couldn't take it with him today he's got a doctor's appointment so We'll deal with it tomorrow. I think we're just going to buy a battery because I said, well, okay, so if we buy a battery and it doesn't work, what have we lost? Can't you keep that battery? Can't keep it on the shelf and use it on the other lawnmower when it comes back? Have a backup battery? Well, yeah, I could do that. It's okay, fine. Now I think we should just buy the battery. Give it a try before we go taking it to somebody, put more money into it. But there she sits. The tiny Monarch. Oh my gosh, it's the right color for Monarch. That is too funny. I may have to paint on that. Anyway, but it's supposed to be the tiny monarch lawnmower, riding lawnmower. Oh well. If it's been to be, it shall be. Alright, so let's see what the progress is in here. I already uh, watered my plants under there. Still have some wasps in here. Not liking that. Anyway. So, I got pretty much everything out of here. Looks like I go, gotta go do something about these wasps. Um, except for that... Uh, that's Carrie's bench that he took apart. I got these cart. There was uh, wood on the floor. Who puts wood directly on the floor? That isn't painted. I mean, no, wood on the floor directly is just not a good idea. Anyway, but not painted, please. Not pressure treated, please. Well, not that I want pressure treated on. Yeah, let's not. You know what I mean. So there was a mat here, like a, a horse mat. So I pulled all that up. So next step. 
after I get the planting done up, up top, is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna demo this. I'm gonna cut that shelf off. That's bowing. I am going to have to crawl. I'm gonna put something down. I crawl and cut all that. Um, and I will put a mask on and have a trash bag ready. And I will get all that ripped out all the way across the bottom. I'm not gonna worry about this wood because he's just gonna concrete right up to it and over it. And after that's done, I'm gonna do a light raking just to get foreign matter. Um, then I'm gonna start digging. And I am going to start digging that trench on center and out that way. Something I thought of last night is there's one more thing I have to do before I can let, drop that pipe in there and run it outside. You know what that is? Come with me. The things you find on a homestead. Hello, beautiful cardinal flying away. Somebody left a big, huge truck toolbox. I don't know if it's worth it, but I'm sure Carrie's gonna put it, pull, I hook a chain to that and pull it out of here for me and get this drum out of here, brake drum. And, uh, cause that's where that pipe's gonna come out and go down. Still haven't heard back from the tree guy to get on the schedule. Probably bad weather, that's why they're behind, so. Um, I, my experience with them is, we're on our way. <laughs> on my phone somewhere. Hopefully I'll be able to hear it. So that's what's going on in there. Let's go get the boots. Get the planting done up top.
That was fun. I got some zinnias, but I'm gonna hold on to them because until uh, my garden doesn't look like a swimming pool. Let's go take a look. Should I get everything in my hands? Oh, I cleaned my tea. Lord have mercy. There's some good songs on the radio today. Something about if you're gonna build your dream and build it, I like that part. I truly did. The last one was one of them girls. I don't know. Never heard it before. I'm not really a country music fan necessarily, but it's got a good beat. It's fine by me. So let's turn you around and see the, new, the swimming pool. Yes, we got some rain last night quite a bit. And I expected it to puddle up there, but it puddled here but it might have just ran to here. So, obviously, I need to fill in more before I open these bags. Carrie said, just go down the hill and scoop out some dirt. There's no, I'm like, oh, uh, well. It's a little too uh, wet right now for that. My tractor would sink and I get stuck. I don't wanna do that either. So, it looks like the gardening is done for today. I just sunk. <laughs> yeah, so cleaning out the gutters was not the solution to the puddling problem over here. So we do know that we have to put in the front drains to keep this water away from this house. So it's on the list. And yes, Carrie, I redid the list again. <laughs> he teases me about making lists. All right, folks, I'm gonna go in. This is a lesson on giving your GoPro a bath. Doing it safely and responsibly. If you want to separate your GoPro, the actual camera, from the tripod, use a soft bristle brush, not near the adhesive, to your leg and hold it over the sink. Give it a brush. Because you know, GoPros, they have feelings too. And they go where you go. So, if you go out in the dirt, they go out in the dirt. If you go into the chicken pen with all that chicken poop, they go into that pen with all that chicken poop. Have you ever thought about the fact that you sit your tripod down and all that stuff, and you don't even think about washing your gum? You wash your hands, you may even wash your boots, but you wash your GoPro tripod, probably not. So we gave the GoPro a good scrubbing with some Dawn dishwashing liquid. 
now. May not be just like new, but the germs are gone. Then, whoop, GoPro legs fell over. <laughs> then, for the camera. <clears throat> Most of them are waterproof. I don't want to test that theory. So, close your eyes. I'm just using a damp paper towel. Now, doesn't that feel better, GoPro? I thought so. Just thought we'd take a little time to give our GoPro some tender loving care because someday this little GoPro could need big changes on the homes. Hey guys. So, today's video that I just uploaded was about um, preparing for a new life. And I had to, I saw a glimpse of this and I had to, I have to try to get it. So I'm going to set you up in front of the door and try to point you up to this nest that's been right outside the front door that you can see through the glass. I cleaned the glass. But Mama is very, and Daddy actually, they're both been taking care of them. They're both very sensitive to motion. So I'm trying to get you an angle. Just watch guys and see if you see that Mama come back and you'll see those little heads pop up. Waiting for Mama to come back. I wasn't able to zoom. That was her. She goes to the E, and then if she feels like it's all clear, she'll come back for the baby. Lay down. Go. Go lay down, child. Go. Go up. So there she is. Or he is. And there come those little. Do you see those little? Oh my goodness. There's like three or four of them. They're just so tiny. Oh my goodness. They're so beautiful. I hope that you can see them. They're precious. I'm so glad we did not move that nest. I saw her take that worm back, so I guess she had to go mush it up a bit. <laughs> 